In this video, we will be demonstrating the permeability flow net and Darcy's law experiment, the H312. This is part of a range of equipment available for teaching the principles of hydrology from tech equipment. In particular, this experiment demonstrates flow through permeable media with common structures such as dams and walls. Many engineering activities involve the flow of water through permeable media such as soil and or sand, where the water exerts a force on the particles within the media. In the case of an earth dam, it's important to understand the seepage from the upstream and downstream sides of the dam. With a concrete dam or sheet pile wall, flow moves in well-defined lines. These can hypothetically be drawn, but using this apparatus, students can physically draw on the sides of the tank here like this. These lines form what is known as a flow net and allow you to determine the actual flow rate using the piezometer tappings along the side. This allows you to identify actual values of head along the flow path and demonstrate the distribution of head in seepage flow. The main part of the apparatus is self-contained and only needs a mains water supply and drain. It consists of a transparent sided tank mounted on a sturdy steel frame bench with worktop that measures almost 2.5 metres in length, 1.5 metres high and 700 millimetres in depth. The clear plate glass on the sides gives you full visibility of flow patterns and has a composition that resists abrasion from sand or the other permeable medium used. Round the back here you can see 14 pressure tappings, each with their own filter for preventing unwanted particles getting into the working area. These tappings connect to a bank of piezometer tubes at the side of the apparatus which allow you to measure the head distribution along the tank. Removable stainless steel mesh baffles at each end of the tank hold the sand in place. At each side of the baffles are end compartments with adjustable flow pipes for setting the water levels at each end of the model. Let's look at the top now, which is open to allow you to easily fill the tank and set up model structures. With the model, students are looking to replicate scenarios where water is retained behind a solid structure standing on a permeable stratum and identify the water exerting an upward force or upward thrust on the base of the structure. We supply the material for making the models which come in the form of clear self-sealing sheet piling for creating walls and simulated dams. You might also notice these scale rulers to help you with setting position and flow net measurement. To help see the flow lines better, a dye injector system is included. This features a thin needle so that you can inject dye into the sand next to the front sheet of the glass. You can then physically draw the lines, as I mentioned earlier, by tracing them on the outside of the glass. Looking inside the apparatus now is an inlet pipe for water and an inlet overflow to help maintain a constant head. This reduces the time in the lab by reducing waiting time needed for the water levels to stabilise. To summarise with the permeability flow nets and Darcy's law experiment, you can teach students how to determine seepage beneath structures, construction of flow nets and determination of the coefficient of permeability, flow under a sheet pile and determination of critical seepage force at which piping occurs, seepage flow under an impermeable dam, flow through an earth dam with and without a tow drain, drawdown of horizontal flow, determination of uplift pressures on structures such as buildings, foundations, flow through a porous media and general studies of seepage and drain. For more information on the permeability flow nets and Darcy's law experiment, click on the links below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Tech Equipment's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.